Good evening, and welcome to Election Night in America 2024, where incumbent President Joe Biden faces off against former President Donald Trump in this election for both of their re-elections. This is the first time in over a century where two men who have both held the office of the presidency at some point in their lives are running against each other in the same election. This will be a historic one and we're gearing up for the first poll closings of the night at 7pm here on the East Coast. It is now 7 p.m. Eastern Time and we have our first poll closings of the night with polls closing in the states of Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, South Carolina, Virginia, and Vermont. The state of Georgia is currently too early to call. This was to say that Joe Biden flipped in 2020 and it'll be interesting to see if Donald Trump can flip the state back. But right now, the state of Georgia is too early to call. The state of Indiana, 11 electoral votes, the home state of Donald Trump's former VP Mike Pence, Donald Trump will carry the state of Indiana. He is also the projected winner in the state of Kentucky. Eight electoral votes, Donald Trump the projected winner. In the state of South Carolina as well, another nine electoral votes will go to the former president of the United States. Joe Biden will win the state of Virginia, it's 13 electoral votes, and he is also the projected winner in the state of Vermont. Three electoral votes for President Biden. And after our first poll closings of the night, our electoral vote map stands at 16 electoral votes for Joe Biden to 28 for Donald Trump, with Trump taking an early lead. It is now 7.30 p.m. on the East Coast, and we have three major poll closings right now from the states of North Carolina and Ohio, as well as the state of West Virginia. The state of North Carolina, 16 electoral votes, is currently too close to call. Donald Trump does lead over Joe Biden by a slight margin right now, but we've only seen around half of the votes in for the state of North Carolina. The state of Ohio, 17 electoral votes, is currently too early to call. This is a must-win state for former President Trump. And finally, in the state of West Virginia, four electoral votes, we can project that Donald Trump is the projected winner of the state of West Virginia. And after our second poll closings of the night, with still some states that we are not yet able to call, Joe Biden still with 16 electoral votes, and Donald Trump leads with 32. It is now 8 p.m. here on the East Coast, and we have our largest poll closing of the night with almost 170 electoral votes at stake at this hour, with polls closing in the states of Alabama, Connecticut, Delaware, the District of Columbia, Florida, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Mississippi, Missouri, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and Tennessee. The state of Alabama, eight electoral votes, Donald Trump, the projected winner of the state of Alabama. The former president will carry the state and its eight electoral votes. In the state of Connecticut, seven electoral votes, the current president, Joe Biden, the projected winner. The president will also carry his home state of Delaware and its three electoral votes. Joe Biden, finally the projected winner of the District of Columbia, its three electoral votes, Joe Biden wins the nation's capital. In the state of Florida, 31 electoral votes. It is currently too close to call right now between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. This is a must win for Trump here in 2024. This was to say that he won both in 2016 and 2020, but it's unclear as to whether or not he'll be able to, to carry the state again here in 2024. The state of Illinois, 19 electoral votes. Joe Biden, the projected winner. He will also carry three out of Maine's four electoral votes, winning the first district of Maine, as well as the at-large vote there in the state of Maine, with the second congressional district going to Donald Trump. Donald Trump winning the second congressional district of the state of Maine, and it's one split electoral vote. The state of Maryland, 10 electoral votes, Joe Biden, the projected winner, as well as the state of Massachusetts, 11 electoral votes, another state in the Joe Biden column. And state of Mississippi, six electoral votes. Donald Trump is the projected winner of the state of Mississippi. And in the state of Missouri as well, 10 electoral votes will be awarded to, president, to the former president of the United States. Donald Trump wins the state of Missouri. The state of New Hampshire, four electoral votes. Joe Biden will be awarded the state of New Hampshire, typically a closed race, but Joe Biden wins the state of New Hampshire by a pretty comfortable margin here in this election. The state of New Jersey, 14 electoral votes in another state for the president. Joe Biden will carry the state of New Jersey and its 14 electoral votes. 
In the state of Oklahoma, seven electoral votes. Donald Trump will yet again carry all of Oklahoma's counties, a state where Donald Trump is very, very popular in. Donald Trump wins the state of Oklahoma. In the state of Pennsylvania, 19 electoral votes. It is currently too close to call. Donald Trump does have a lead here over Joe Biden. And remember, in the state of Pennsylvania, this was a state that decided the 2020 presidential election when it flipped blue. And it'll be interesting to see whether or not this state can flip back red, but it is currently too close to call. The state of Rhode Island, three electoral votes. Joe Biden is the projected winner. And in the state of Tennessee, 11 electoral votes, the final state for this poll closing. Donald Trump wins the state of Tennessee and its 11 electoral votes. And after the largest poll closing of the night, Joe Biden now has taken the lead with 93 electoral votes to Donald Trump at 75. It is now 8.19 p.m. here on the East Coast, and we can predict the state of Georgia. 16 electoral votes previously too early to call. The state of Georgia, it's 16 electoral votes. Joe Biden, the projected winner of the state of Georgia yet again, as they flipped first back in 2020. As well as that, the state of Ohio, 17 electoral votes. Donald Trump, the projected winner of the state of Ohio. It is now 8.30 p.m. on the East Coast, and we have just one poll closing and one projection to make, and that is from the state of Arkansas. The state of Arkansas, Donald Trump, the projected winner of the state of Arkansas, and its six electoral votes. And this gives Donald Trump now 98 electoral votes as he creeps up against Joe Biden, who leads with 109 electoral votes. It is now 9 p.m. on the East Coast, and we have by far the second largest poll closing of the night, with polls closing in the states of Arizona, Colorado, Kansas, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Mexico, New York, North Dakota, South Dakota, Texas, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. The state of Arizona, 12 electoral votes, is currently too early to call a must win again for Donald Trump, but it's said that he did lose in 2020. The state of Colorado, 10 electoral votes easily. Joe Biden, the projected winner of the state of Colorado. As well as that, in the state of Kansas, 6 electoral votes. This state will go to Donald Trump. Donald Trump wins the state of Kansas and its 6 electoral votes. The state of Louisiana, 8 electoral votes will also be awarded to the former president of the United States. While in the state of Michigan, 15 electoral votes, it is currently too close to call. Joe Biden leads by just 239 votes, so this is a shocking margin for Joe Biden. A state that he flipped in 2020, but the state of Michigan is currently too close to call. The state of Minnesota, 9 electoral votes. Joe Biden is the projected winner of the state of Minnesota. However, in the state of Nebraska, four out of its five split electoral votes will be awarded to Donald Trump. Donald Trump wins the at-large vote as well as Nebraska's first and third congressional districts. However, in the second congressional district of the state of Nebraska, Joe Biden once again the projected winner of the second district of Nebraska. In the state of New Mexico, five electoral votes. The president is yet again the projected winner, winning the state now by over 13 percentage points. And in the state of New York, 28 electoral votes. Joe Biden, the projected winner of the Empire State. In North Dakota's three electoral votes will go to Donald Trump, as well as South Dakota's another three electoral votes. Donald Trump, the projected winner. In the state of Texas, it is currently too close to call. 41 electoral votes up for grabs. Joe Biden actually leads over Donald Trump right now. This is a shocking margin. For President Biden, it is expected to go down, but it is unclear as to who will actually carry the state of Texas at the end of the night, but the state of Texas is currently too close to call. In the state of Wisconsin, 10 electoral votes is currently too early to call this again, a state that Joe Biden must win in this election, and this was a state that he did carry in 2020. And finally, in the state of Wyoming, 3 electoral votes, Donald Trump, the projected winner, this is his most reliable state the state of Wyoming. And now taking a look at our electoral vote map, Joe Biden expands his lead now. He has 159 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 125. It is now 9.40 p.m. here on the East Coast, and we can make a major projection. 12 electoral votes from the state of Arizona will go to Joe Biden once again. A state he flipped for the first time in over two decades in 2020. Joe Biden will once again be the projected winner in the state of Arizona. It is now 10 p.m. on the East Coast, and we have four states to make projection for the states of Iowa, Montana, Nevada, and Utah. 
in the state of Iowa. Six electoral votes. It is currently too close to call. Donald Trump does have a pretty significant lead over Joe Biden right now, but the state of Iowa is currently too early to call with Joe Biden doing quite a bit better than he did in 2020 at this moment in time. The state of Montana, four electoral votes, Donald Trump, the projected winner of the state of Montana. And in the state of Nevada, six electoral votes is currently too early to call. This to say that Joe Biden should win in this election, and this was to say that he did win in 2020, but it'll be interesting to see if he can pull off this swing state again in 2024, so the state of Nevada is currently too early to call. And finally, the state of Utah, six electoral votes, Donald Trump, the projected winner of the state of Utah. And now Joe Biden further expands his lead even more now with 174 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 133 with that projection that we've made earlier from the state of Arizona being crucial to Joe Biden. It is now 10.47 p.m. on the East Coast and we can make a projection from the state of Iowa. Six electoral votes from Iowa, Donald Trump, the projected winner of the state of Iowa. And in the state of Nevada, six electoral votes. We can also make this call now. Joe Biden, the projected winner of Nevada, six electoral votes. It is now 11 p.m. on the East Coast, and we can make some projections for these West Coast states, these states of California, Hawaii, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. Out of the state of California, 54 electoral votes. The state losing an, an electoral vote after the 2020 redistricting. But California, two... 54 electoral votes and the home state of his vice president Kamala Harris in the largest state of the country will go to Joe Biden. The state of Hawaii, four electoral votes, Joe Biden, the projected winner. While in the state of Idaho, three electoral votes will be awarded to former President Trump. In the state of Oregon, eight electoral votes, Joe Biden is the projected winner. As well as that, Joe Biden also the projected winner in the state of Washington. Twelve electoral votes awarded to the president of the United States. And this now gives Joe Biden 258 electoral votes, Donald Trump at 145. However, hope is not lost yet for Donald Trump, as you must realize that every single state remaining on this map, these are all states that Donald Trump was able to win in the 2016 presidential election. He did lose some of them in 2020, particularly the states in the Rust Belt. But it'll be interesting to see if Donald Trump can come back from the results that we are currently projecting as, as of this moment in time, with Joe Biden just 12 electoral votes away from his re-election. It is now 12.05 a.m. on the East Coast, and we can project that Joe Biden has been re-elected President of the United States. The 46th President of the United States will defeat the 45th President here in this election. The 2024 presidential election, the outcome, Joe Biden re-elected to another four-year term in the Oval Office. And this is because we can project that in the state of Michigan, 16 electoral votes, Joe Biden, the projected winner of the state of Michigan, and it's 16 electoral votes. As well as that, the state of Wisconsin, 10 electoral votes will also be projected for Joe Biden as of this moment in time. Joe Biden wins Michigan and Wisconsin, winning him the presidency of the United States for another four years. And now Joe Biden has crossed 270 electoral votes, as you just saw there. Now at 283 electoral votes, Donald Trump still trails with 145. It'll be interesting to see if he can hold on to states like Texas and Florida in the coming hours. It is now 1 a.m. on the East Coast, and we can make one projection that is from the state of Alaska. The state of Alaska, Donald Trump, the projected winner of the state of Alaska, and it's three electoral votes. Donald Trump will once again for a third time carry the state of Alaska and its three electoral votes. Now this gives Donald Trump a little bit of a boost here with now with 148 electoral votes to Joe Biden's 283. It is now 3.56 in the morning and we can make a major projection for Donald Trump. Donald Trump will be the projected winner in the state of Florida by a very, very narrow margin. Just a couple tens of thousands of votes separate Joe Biden and Donald Trump. But we are confident now that Donald Trump will win the presidential election in the state of Florida at its 31 electoral votes. However, in the race in North Carolina, 15 electoral votes to Joe Biden, the projected winner, flipping the state for the first time since 2008. Joe Biden will win the state of North Carolina and its 15 electoral votes. And finally, the state of Pennsylvania, 19 electoral votes. Joe Biden, the projected winner of his birth state, Joe Biden wins the state of Pennsylvania. 
It is now 11.35 in the morning, so this is a couple of hours later since we made those last projections in Pennsylvania, but Joe Biden, this is a shocking one here. Joe Biden will be the project winner in the state of Texas. This is the first time that Texas will vote blue since 1976 with the election of Jimmy Carter. So Joe Biden wins the state of Texas and it's 41 electoral votes. This is a massive win for not only Joe Biden, but the Democratic Party as a whole. And now this is the final electoral vote map for the 2024 presidential election between incumbent President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. Joe Biden wins the presidential election with 359 electoral votes to Donald Trump with 179 electoral votes. A landslide victory here for the President of the United States. Joe Biden wins re-election here in 2024. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like it. If you enjoyed it, comment down below which states you think I called were wrong. Um, as well as your thoughts on just this election night as a whole. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. Join my Discord server, the link to which is at the very top of the description below. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.